I think we can all agree that making content is not easy. It's very hard. And when you start this journey of making content, you're, you are faced with a lot of fears of facing the camera and turn it on and just sitting in front of it and speaking to an audience you don't know if it if it exists or doesn't exist you don't know if your video will get someone to watch or no one will watch it and when you find yourself in that situation just know that's the first first step that you have to work up and i think the biggest percentage just beginning just clicking on the camera and starting recording a video and i had some comments that uh, made me look at how how i make content and one said someone just commented and said i checked out your channel i think you having a microphone is dope and that you edit is some um, i love your edit in some visual b-roll maybe you can end up some free background music a plant and some light should go a long way always tweak the small things so this basically was someone that was recommending me for for creating content and just using the microphone that's that you can see i just purchased it recently just a, a, a month ago and a ring light i have here those were just a few steps that i wanted to take in making these videos where i sit and face the camera and speak to you and so i made it but this someone was recommending me for doing that great work and this one keeps you moving sometimes you may you may not get any feedback at all but when you get it just use it in a positive way and move forward with it and still i got another uh, uh, comment that said this and i take it positively this someone said that your audio is pretty bad man consider getting a better mic yeah that's what he said because then I bought this a month ago and now he was saying I should get a better mic and also speak with more conviction. Unfortunately, the accent doesn't help at all. So after listening to me, he said the accent doesn't help at all. Because of course I'm not American and so this is not my, my first language, this is my third language. So of course I must have a little accent in it, though I'm trying to improve. You know, I'm trying to learn every and every time and make the changes where necessary. So he continued and said, so could look into learning pronunciation better in English. Aside from that, the video quality is kinda bad too. Maybe you can try filming outside. He was called or asking me if I could just film outside and for me it is impossible because of the situation outside I know how where I live the outside is not a conducive environment for me to do so there's so many distractions and noise and the only time I can film is maybe at, at night when it's a little bit quiet and he continued and said um, watch other fitness youtubers and do exactly what they do in terms of everything that's a positive that's a positive comment and another one just said you have so many subscribers that basically and if you saw my subscribers and said i have so many subscribers i would absolutely die to be where you are right now so he was very happy that i was having the subscriber so he, he she would love to be in my shoes and that's a very positive uh, comment when it comes to youtube I started this youtube let's say four four years ago and when i was at school i used to do it for fun you know i didn't have many any equipment at all just using my phone and two years later i i finished college and came back home and moved out and stay out stay alone and so that change I didn't create content at all. I almost did a year without creating any content at all. But that desire to create content always was in me. And I created it to create it. It was fun, it was a, a process and I loved it. So I had to find a way to continue going to the gym and starting creating content. And I found a way and let's say last year, mid, mid last year, that's how I came back again and started creating video. And every time when I 
made a video. It was a way of sharing my creativity. That's the opportunity that uh, creating content in YouTube gives you. It's, no one is watching you, no one is judging you. So you got to make experiment and do everything that you needed. But something I realized that kept me going is because I used to post a video and when I post it, I won't get any likes or watch time. That just I didn't get many views. Maybe a couple of views, you know, and that inside you will feel you have not accomplished anything. You feel like a failure because you are chasing after the validation instead of loving the process. And that validation, that chasing the validation keeps many people from creating more content. It prevents you from working on the next video because you're just there watching the analytics. Why, why did this video work out? Okay, it's good to check the analytics because they makes you want to improve on some areas. But just, there, many things are just out of your control, you know? You can't control who watches your video for how long they watch your video. Maybe some people just watch five seconds and click away. You can't control that. What you can control is what you have in you, what not giving up, that's what you have control of. You decide that I'm not going to give up, I'm going to work on my next video, I'm going to work, work on my next project, not just any video, but the next thing that you wanna do, wanna continue. So like for me, it's making the next video. I used to uh, just look at myself and say maybe my feel, why should people listen to me? What should people watch me? I'm broke, don't have anything. But that self-pity makes you not perform on the another on the next video. So you can what you have control is to keep showing up. You keep showing up. The next work on the next video on the next project. Not giving up and stop overthinking. I used to overthink so much. What should I do? What what went wrong? Why why are people not watching my videos? And this is a very bad thing. You should be in the process of loving it and working on the next project or the next video. Don't take yourself too seriously, you know. No one, no one, actually no one takes this themselves seriously. Maybe you just too hard on yourself. You should take it easy and stop overthinking. Work on the next project or the next video and love the process. One thing, the good thing I love is because uh, you got to experiment. At the beginning, you have to experiment your channel, your audience. You don't know what your audience loves, so you have to experiment. You don't have, you, you lack the social proof. You're not like Mr. Beast, like you have a bigger audience. You don't have any audience, so you have the chance to experiment everything. If it's going right, wrong, you take notes, you improve on the next video. Not just caring about the validation and the, and the views. Okay, it, it matters the long run, but at the beginning, you don't, you don't focus on the audience. I focus on the experimenting this kind of content, this type of editing, lighting, angles angles of a camera those kind of game and play the game this is the game you have to play it you have to do your research and imitate because you have an audience so you can imitate actually no one i don't think i think everyone here on youtube just copies and try to tweak in your own unique way that's it you imitate and you learn maybe when you reach a bigger audience you can decide what is good for you and you can stick with that. That's how you niche down. Let me tell you, refine your purpose. At the beginning, I didn't have a purpose, but the moment I started creating content, it drove me closer to my purpose and discovering myself. Because as I continued making one video after the other, I found it effortlessly. I did it with no effort. So I loved it. In that way, I found a purpose found my purpose okay i haven't just discovered it at all but i'm in the process and i'm loving it i can't regret anything so you have to discover yourself through the journey of making content you know what works for you what doesn't work for you and you keep working on, on that for me let's say i'm trying to improve on every place on every aspect even considering those comments i received i'm trying to use them to make better videos to improve where I can, even though I don't have, let's say, a 
capital and a budget um trying their best to work on it and that's the best thing you because you don't have a bigger audience you're gonna work with what you have and let this not just stop you from creating content because you like this you like this you like maybe i like me i don't have english my dad language so sometimes i feel difficult to talk and pronounce some words but i don't let that stop me from moving on just keep working on it step by step and one day you will wake up and find, find yourself that you have made a, a full video with no mistakes okay mistake will be there but they will they will be very minimal at that point you realize that that was the best decision you have made for yourself and i mean this it's hard it's hard but i let this be a, be a, be a sign let me hear you watching me this be a sign that if you have a channel or you've just started take a step of faith and work on your videos work on your creativity work on your purpose you have control of your life youtube is good and it will help you a lot so if you're finding this video very informative please it will help me a lot by liking subscribing and maybe a comment maybe you have a similar situation to that mine you can comment and you can help each other grow and let this be a sign and thanks for watching and i'll see you on the other side